Hello everyone and a warm welcome. In this video, you will get important MCQs in the subject Medical Microbiology. This is the question paper of Medical Microbiology asked in the MSc 3rd semester examination. This is also important for the students who are going to appear in the Central University Common Entrance Examination and for other entrance examination for admission in the MSc Microbiology, MSc Life Sciences and MSc Biotechnology courses. So watch this video till end. The first MCQ is which species is frequently associated with nosocomial infections transmitted via medical devices inserted into the body a bacillus anthracis b propionibacterium acnes c streptococcus pyogenes d streptococcus epidermidis out of this the correct option is the option d streptococcus epidermidis this also forms the normal microflora of the human skin the second MCQ, Streptococcus aureus, is most often associated with being A. Gram negative, B. Coagulase negative, C. Coagulase positive, D. Catalase negative. The correct option is the option Coagulase positive. Streptococcus aureus are coagulase positive, while other species are coagulase negative, so they are called cons next question what disease is most associated with clostridium perfidentis a gas gangrene b endocarditis c right white fever d osteomyelitis the correct option is the option a gas gangrene next which of the following resistance mechanism is the most non-specific to a particular class of antimicrobials? A. Drug modification B. Efflux pump C. Target modification D. Target mimicry The correct option is the option B. Efflux pumps Efflux pumps, they are used to throw out the antibiotic which is trying to enter into the bacterial cell the next question which is the most common type of biological vector of human disease a viruses b arthropods c bacteria and d mammals the correct option is the b arthropods arthropods are the insects which can cause the number of infections the next question is a blanket from a child with chicken pox is likely to be contaminated with a virus that causes chicken pox virus what is the blanket called the options are a pathogen b host c fomite d vector the correct answer is c fomite fomites are the inanimate objects which can transmit the pathogen Next question, which of the following is a pathogen that could not be identified by original Koch postulates? The options are A. Human immunodeficiency virus B. Vibro cholerae C. Mycobacterium tuberculosis D. Pseudomonas aeruginosa The correct answer is A. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, the causative agent of AIDS. Viruses, they are not covered in the original Koch postulates. So, the Koch postulates were modified later on. Next question. Pathogen A has an ID50 of 50 particles. Pathogen B has an ID50 of 1000 particles. And pathogen C has an ID50 of 1 is to 10 to the power 6 particles. Which pathogen is most virulent? The options are pathogen A, pathogen B and the pathogen C. Now uh, let's look at the ID. The ID stands for infectious dose. So ID50 is the least number of the particles which is required in order to initiate an infection in the host body. 
lesser is the id50 more pathogenic is the pathogen so in this case the pathogen a has the least id50 as compared to the b and the c so pathogen a is most virulent so here the correct option is the a pathogen a next mcq is which of the following is suitable for use on tissues for microbial control to prevent infection a sterilant b disinfectant c antiseptic d water so the correct option is b disinfectant next which of the following choices list the steps of pathogenesis in the correct order a invasion infection adhesion exposure b adhesion exposure infection invasion c exposure adhesion invasion infection d disease infection exposure invasion so out of this the correct order is the order c first of all there is exposure to pathogen pathogen enters then it adheres then it invades and finally the infection process is complete and it causes the infection next in continuation are the fill in the blanks the statement is given and these have to be filled with the single word or a term which will best suit this statement so the first when the blank is selective toxicity antimicrobials are easier to develop against bacteria because they are dash cells whereas human cells are eukaryotic so here the correct term has to be written so that term is pro karyot next if used for extended periods of time dash level germicides may lead to sterility the three options are given out of this one has to be written here these are high oblique low oblique intermediate so out of this the correct one is high third fill up is beta lactamases degrade vancomycin out of this the option is the can or cannot so the correct one is that beta lactamases they cannot degrade vancomycin next a dash pathogen causes disease only when antibiotics are favorable for the microorganism because of transfer to an inappropriate body site or weakened immunity in an individual so here the answer is opportunistic pathogen fifth one is the concentration of pathogen needed to kill 50% of an infected group of test animals is the ld50 so these were the most expected mcqs and in the blanks which could be asked in different entrance examination hope it will be helpful for you if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe the channel and press the bell notification so that you can get the notifications of the new videos as soon as they are released you can find more mcqs videos in the playlist thanks for patient hearing bye and take care best wishes